Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, I'm here doing your nightly reading, yay. This reading is for the collective, so just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, right? And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support, the love, you guys. Thank you for all of the comments. Thank you. <laughs> you guys are my friends and family out here, Cancer. I love you so, so much. Oh, my gosh, you rock. All right, so um, Cancer, what I'm seeing here is I'm talking to somebody. <sighs> Weird things happen around you, Cancer, whoever, for whoever I'm talking to because of your power. There's something like electric about you, okay? Um, and you freaked someone out. I feel like the one that's on your mind, whoever it is that you're thinking about, they ran from you, Cancer, because they were freaked out by your energy okay they're realizing you know this was like a surreal experience with you um they're realizing that you're not from this world going beyond normal heaven sent um i feel like it scared this person and they ran okay they didn't know what to do with an earth angel you're definitely heaven sent or this could have freaked out this person because they could have like just prayed for you and then you show up in their life and that was i mean it was like um it was scary to them i i feel like too weird things happen around you like with electricity do you ever notice that the the electricity the lights will flicker or maybe you have the ability to um like talk to people who have who have passed on you know you could be like um um what's the term i'm looking for a medium you could be a medium okay and that could have been something that freaked this person out something about your intuition your psychic abilities that freaked this person out um whoever i'm talking to here you um you have these intense abilities or this intenseness about your energy okay and it, this person did notice like confirmations when they were with you like i don't know you'd you'd set off alarms or that happens to me all the time or you could have been um you know, um, seeing ghosts or um, talking to spirits, or you could be extremely psychic, whatever it is, you have this special ability. And I feel like you also harness energy from from nature, from beyond, I don't know. Um, it scared this person, but here's the thing. You were worth defending. They ran from you when they should have defended you. Defend to the end the worthwhile. Um, and this person is realizing this now, that they ran from someone who was really worthwhile to be putting in that effort into, you know? And they really didn't give you a chance. They saw what you could do and they just kind of got scared. All right. Um, or they're seeing what you can do now and it's kind of scaring this person because I'm, I'm seeing you as having it's almost like you can harness the energy of your ancestors. You can harness the energy all around you. Um, you know, when there's um, a, a spirit in the room, uh, this person could have witnessed some of your abilities. And it scared the crap out of them, Cancer. What is this? Yeah, and then I feel like they blocked you out. They started breadcrumbing you. Like, um, this is somebody who they, they got really scared. And so they kind of left very quickly. And then maybe you heard from them. They would send you maybe a couple of messages. Or, you know, you'd wonder if you were going to see them again. Oh, not tonight. I've got too much going on. And then all of a sudden, they just cut you off. You know? Um, it, it's kind of like they wanted you. But you scared them. Yeah, tower moment. You scared this person because of your abilities. Yes. Yes. It's got something to do with that you're heaven sent. You're sent from, you're sent from heaven. You're not from around here. You're, you, you've got the power of all of your ancestors in you. Um, this is, it kind of feels like, um, ascended master energy or you're very masterful at what you can do 
Okay. It's, it's almost like you, you're very controlled with it. You know what I mean? Um, when you know you're about to see a spirit, it like get, it maybe gives you a chill or something. Like you know when you're about to see a spirit, you know to trust your intuition, you know when you're talking to the divine, you know when you're harnessing energy. A lot of people do these things without even knowing it, but you're so controlled and so masterful at it, you know what you're flipping doing. And it freaked this person out. They can clearly see that there's you're different from everyone. They've never witnessed anything like you before. Okay. And it scared them. They ran. Yeah. And it's like loud and clear. Like this is you setting off alarms. This is you <laughs> playing with the energy in the room. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, and this is something that scared this person away. So what, what else can you tell me about this for cancer? Yeah, it was a it was a very um, surreal experience with you. Okay, like a supernatural experience with you. That's what they were having. It felt like a supernatural experience with you, and they didn't know how to handle it. Okay, <laughs> like did they run out of your house screaming or something? Like you know, now they're totally turned on by you, Cancer. Now this person is seeing you as wifey okay um they're seeing how grounded and stable you are all right there and i feel like it's a turn on for them now I, they just had to process this i feel like they just had to process it get used to the fact that you are sent from heaven above um, i'm feeling light worker earth angel ancestral energy okay with this really astounding ability to like harness and the energy around you filter it through you I'm also really picking up on the mediumship thing so I know you can see spirits or you know when they're around or you can clearly communicate with other spirits And the way you made this person feel like I wouldn't be surprised if they like, uh, did they ever tell you you gave them goosebumps? Did they ever tell you you gave them the chills? Did they ever like kind of, you know, get a tingle when you touched them? Okay, I feel like there was something that this person may have mentioned about that. Okay, but they, I, they had to process what was going on here, Cancer. And I feel like now they want to come back in. Um, yeah, there could be a lot of people that are attracted to you right now, okay, because, because you're different from everyone else, and not everybody is going to be afraid of what you can do. They're, I feel like they're, people are fascinated by you, you know, um, they're fascinated. You, you like amaze people. Yeah, there's an emperor watching you, Cancer. This could be your person ready now. Um, ready to boss up. Ooh, yeah, this person is in love with you. You could have been dealing with a, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, they're in love with you, Cancer. Now they're in love. All right. And I feel like they want to come forward now and... Give it another shot, okay? Um, they may tell you exactly what I'm telling you now. And I feel like this person, um, they, they want your forgiveness for breaking your heart. They want your forgiveness from running away, okay? Um, this person, they just didn't know what to do with your power, your kind of energy. It scared them. And, you know, light workers can get that a lot. I mean, we attract people to us, but when they find out what we can do, you know, we either get crucified for it or people get afraid of it because they don't understand. All right? And this person, they just weren't expecting you. There's no one else like you. They weren't expecting you. They weren't expecting this kind of power. They weren't expecting that you were uh, from the 5D. You're a, um, you're a divine being. 
okay, you've got one foot on the 5D, one foot on the 3D, you're actually a, a 5D being, but you're sent here on the 3D to help inspire and heal other people and teach other people. You know, and they're realizing this now. Um, you could have your own platform, website. Um, you could have your own YouTube channel, anything like that, okay? Um, spreading messages of love, um, spreading, being a messenger for the divine, messages of inspiration, uh, putting out your, all your spiritual knowledge for other people, right? And I feel like they've been watching you and learning from this. Now, this person has been learning who you are, where you're from, and what you can do. That's helping them to kind of um, process, <laughs> right? Process the fact that you're not from around here. It's given them time to kind of get used to that idea. And now they're realizing that this is a big turn on for them, actually. And they want to come back around. I mean, here's the thing. Here you are on, on in this world, on this earth, right? You're from the 5D. Whoever I'm talking to, you're from the 5D. You're an earth angel and you're here on this rock. Okay, and you're grounded and stable. So clearly this, I mean, and, and you, you, you're very controlled with whatever abilities that you have. And this person can see you're not a threat, you're not a danger, you're actually um, very grounded, very stable, very independent. You're able to multitask like no one, like no one else can. Um, so yeah, they're seeing this as, you know what, it's, they kind of had to take a while to sort of breathe and just relax about it and learn about this, okay? They've learned you. They've learned who you are, what you can do, where you're from. They get it now, and now they're in a lot of regret because they turned their back on you. See, they turned around and ran when they should have defended the worthwhile to the end. Okay, now they're regretting that. They're regretting running away from you. So now I feel like this person wants you back now. They want to they wanna give it another shot. They understand the kind of abilities you have, and they see it as not being any kind of anything scary or a threat, okay? <laughs> yeah, I feel like this person, they just kind of ghosted you. Uh, like I said, maybe they sort of sent you a couple of messages and then quickly cut you off and walked away. Yep. And so they know they, they could have walked away years ago, Cancer. We've got two eights here. This person clearly wants to come back around, but they've spent too much time away. And the way that they walked away from you has made it incredibly difficult for them to reapproach you. This person, yep, see, they're, they're wanting to take action towards you now, Cancer, but th this is giving them a lot of anxiety and fear. They, they really don't know what you're going to say. They don't know if you're angry with them or not, and considering how powerful you are, <laughs> they're a little bit worried about that, about what you can do, okay? Yeah, this person is, um, they're up all night over this. I feel like they're going to reach out to you really soon. Like within the next eight days, maybe. Okay, within the next week. See, because they know they need to come in quickly. You're single, abundant, independent, successful, beautiful, smart, um, talented, very skilled, um, and you're heaven sent. So if they don't come in quickly, you're going to get snatched up by somebody else. And that's the last thing that this person wants, is to lose you to someone else. But it has taken them way too long, and I feel like they were afraid of you. They may have avoided you until they learned about you. This person has been learning about you. They've been learning from you. Okay? All that spiritual, all those spiritual gifts, all your spiritual knowledge, okay? All of your um, psychic abilities, right? They're learning you, Cancer. And now this person is in love with you. <laughs> They're in love with you now. I feel like they were in love with you before, but this really freaked them out. 
But this is a this is a part of you, and it's nothing that you should ever be ashamed of, and it's nothing that you hid from them. I feel like you were very open about your abilities and who you were. Yeah, now this person wants to commit. Look, now they're in love with you, Cancer. Now they want to come back around. Okay? You know, they were afraid of what you can do. You're not you're honestly you're different unique and rare apart from everyone else that they've ever they've never experienced anything like you before they haven't to the point where it scared them my darlings it scared them but now they get it now they know you were the answer to their prayers i feel like this person prayed for someone like you and you were sent from heaven okay I feel like um, they realize this this may be a twin flame soulmate connection I'm seeing you as a divine being a divine feminine energy maybe divine masculine energy take it how it resonates definitely very connected to the divine definitely having some really intense abilities here yes high priestess ooh, and magician abilities Cancer, this person sees you as like magic. They do. That I think this person thinks there's nothing that you can't accomplish. Like for real. There's nothing that you can't do. And now what they were once afraid of is now you've become something that they can't seem to live without. I feel like they want to know more. They want to learn more. Um, they want to get closer to you now. This person, like, craves your energy, okay? Yeah, look, yeah. Craving the energy of an earth angel. I kid you not. I'm hearing constant craving is all we do. Right, something like that. Constant craving yeah, they're, now they're craving the earth angel, whereas before, they ran away from you. They ran away from the earth angel. Now, they're craving you, okay? That's what this is. Now, this person doesn't ever want to let you go. They're realizing they'll never find another you. You know, they had something special and good and wonderful in their in their hands right at their fingertips and and it scared them they should have defended you this is their biggest regret too is not defending you not being there for you not being strong for you and running away from you instead and now this person i feel like they want to commit to you they want forever with you and they're all up in their emotions wanting their earth angel back Okay, but this is why this person ran from you. All right, it wasn't anything you did, it's who you are. Rare, special, and extremely powerful. Okay, extremely powerful. That, that scared them. Um, you know what, I want to see what they have to say. What does this person want to say? What do they want to say to cancer? Gaslighting you. They were lying and gaslighting you, but you weren't crazy. You were right. I feel like that's just it. You knew what this person was doing, too. Maybe you called them out on it and you scared them. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, they, weren't, they just weren't strong enough to admit that you were right about everything, okay? Playing games. Um, it says, this is a game to me, the way I'm acting, responding, or posting it to get your attention. So maybe they are playing some kind of game to try to get your attention now. But no one compares to you. No matter how many people I've met and experiences I, I have, there's no one who compares to you. It's that experience they had with you. You know? It was like a supernatural experience with you. Yeah, they're regretting running away from you, though. Let the past go. Can we rewind time and go back to before we were both broken down by life? 
our past hold us back from our future. Yep, so they're hoping that they can just, can they, can we restart this is what they're saying. Can I just have one more chance? Let's restart it. I promise I won't be afraid. I know who you are and what you can do now. You know, I feel like they want, they want another chance. Yeah, I've been dreaming about you. In my dreams, we are so free and in love. Wish I could stay there forever. So you may feel connected to this person in your dreams. Like maybe you have, like, you dream about having conversations with them, maybe. I'm sorry. I hate how much I've hurt you. I'm so sorry for all the pain I've caused. You didn't deserve any of it. Yeah, cancer. But nervous. See, this is it. You make me nervous. <laughs> cancer, you do, but you're so powerful, though. Um, even just thinking about you, I get nervous. I'm not sure what to say or how to act around you because, Cancer, you're an angel. You're a divine being sent from heaven here on earth to be a light worker, help raise vibrations, inspire and teach other people. That's why you are here. And this person knows it. Who wouldn't be nervous around an angel? Who wouldn't be nervous around an angel? Who that would that would freak out anybody to have a supernatural experience with an earth angel. Okay? And I feel like this person just, they had to process it. Cancer, you scared them. And they had to process who you are. But this person is about to come back around. Okay, they're not sure how to act around you. They're not sure what, how do you talk to, how do you talk to an angel? Yes. How do you hold her close? To where you are I feel like this is a twin flame okay and they, they may be learning from you and finding out that they could be a divine masculine as well so um, yeah they see you as having all the power of the universe basically all the power of all of your ancestors um, like you are a powerful powerful being you make them nervous, but that's not going to stop them anymore, okay? This person's about to approach you. They're hoping, they're kind of just hoping this goes well. They don't, they don't exactly know what to say because no one knows really how to talk to an earth angel. But they're going to do the best they can. And they're hoping for the best, and they're hoping that you will at least listen, okay? So get ready for an apology, Cancer. Here it comes. Anyway, my darlings, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates, you guys. Thank you so much, Cancer, for everything. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out. Okay, everyone, so um, these are all of the awesome prizes that I have for this thank you giveaway, okay? Um, we've got the Nightmare Before Christmas Tarot deck, a really popular deck for the giveaways. You guys, it's fun. Um, and we've got the Lightseers Tarot deck. This, this is a very popular deck in, in Tarot Land out here on YouTube. Um, really great for intuitive readers as well. And we've got, of course, another chance to win the cat tarot, you guys. I include this in on pretty much all the re all of the um, giveaways, okay? And then we've got um, we've got a singing bowl that's um, just like mine. I think it's a little bit smaller than mine, but it comes with its own little satin pillow and a wand. All right, we've got the singing bowl. We've got the um, pendulum set, which I think is really nice. Honestly, um, these are really nice pendulums, you guys. One is um, uh, quartz crystal. It's got a really nice weight to it, and it's pretty big for a pendulum. And this one is copper. And this one opens up. You can open it up. You can put little things in it, like maybe um, some... Um, 
holy water. You could put little pictures in it, maybe. You could put um, little crystal chips in it, okay? So this is a really awesome pendulum. Very, it's weighted so nice, and it comes with this um, really cool, like, board, okay? Like an answer board. All right, so we've got the pendulum set. And then we've got this home cleansing set, okay? It's also called a smudge kit. It comes with a feather, uh, a sage stick, a chakra bracelet. Um, it comes with its own little wooden stand for this beautiful abalone shell. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Um, so that is the smudge kit or home cleansing kit, however you want to put it. All right, and as a bonus prize, you guys, and I had to, I couldn't pass this up. I just couldn't. It's way too cute and adorable. This is the bonus lucky elephant, okay? Um, it's hand carved out of amethyst, and it, it needs a good home. So who wants the bonus lucky elephant? Please, please. Um, I, I hope he goes to a, a good home. Anyway, um, to enter to win any of this awesome, uh, any of these awesome items, all you have to do is like and subscribe to the channel and type in the name of the item that you want to win in the comment section below. That's all you got to do. And then we're, I'm going to announce the lucky winners on May 11th, you guys. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, good luck. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, right? Join this awesome soul tribe. Um, enter to win one of these great prizes. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.